And now once Napoleon was completely defeated, what's going to happen to France and to Europe? So remember, Napoleon conquered most of Europe. He created kingdoms in different states, different territories, where kingdoms didn't exist before. He created new kingdoms, he transformed, he changed their boundaries. And now Napoleon is defeated, the French Empire disappeared. And what's going to happen to these territories? To do that, the winners, the other European powers who defeated Napoleon, they met. They met in a congress. There was a meeting in Vienna in 1815, and there, in this congress, the leaders of these European countries, most of them kings or emperors, they decided, they agreed how to rebuild Europe and how to distribute Europe and what to do with France, because France is a republic. And a republic is a bad idea, this is a bad example for their countries. So there is a they agreed the only legitimism is the absolutism and that means all different uh, systems of government are considered illegal the legal one the good one is the absolutism because that's legitimate then the three important emperors the emperor of russia austria and prussia they made an alliance it was called the holy alliance because the three of them were Christians, so they think this is an alliance to fight against enemies like Napoleon and two against revolutionaries, against this system. So people who were against the tradition, who fought against the, this tradition, this holy tradition, will be fight using this alliance. And the last, uh, another thing they did was the distribution of Europe. How are they going to distribute Europe? How the countries are going to be organized? So. Now you can see here a map, a European map. You can you see uh, the German Confederation. It's a group of lot uh, different states, a lot of states. All of them have in common that they are German speakers. So there is a confederation and the boundaries of France, they return to the boundaries, the limits France had before the French Revolution. Spain was restored with, uh, with his previous king, Ferdinand VII, Fernando VII. In France, the Bourbon dynasty was restored again. And these countries, they resumed being what were they were before. So you can see here how they, uh, the caricature, they, how they, uh, they are organizing Europe.